Morning. Why you look so beautiful. You're almost due. <laughs> yes, Ma. Did you put out a job notice for a replacement? Ma? No, Ma, I didn't, Ma. Why? B because I have someone that's a perfect fit for the job. He's really good, Ma. Who? Oh. My brother, Ma. It's, it's not what you're thinking, Ma. He's very good. You won't even notice that I'm gone. And he can work very well under pressure. You like him. I just need someone who is very good. Just find me someone. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. So what's on my schedule for today? Um, your schedule is quite flexible. Apart from Mr. Johnson and finalizing the contract, everything is it's fine, Ma. You don't have much to do. Okay. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> To be told now, see something you've been staring at me since. I can't believe you hate me this much, Joyce. Ha! Oh, my I don't hate you. Joyce, you want me to go and work with that woman? Are you being serious? Have I not been working with her? Oh, so you don't have amnesia, Abby? Weren't you the one that told me that she killed her husband? Yes, and that every man around her dies. Toby, I said rumor has it. What's the difference, Joyce? Stop it. Uh -uh. Okay, so you want me to go and die first? So you can confirm if the rumors are true, Abby? Toby, the pay is very attractive. Please, you just can't keep sitting at home every day doing nothing. But I don't sit at home doing nothing. I have my kiosk. A kiosk? Toby, you're even saying it, a kiosk. Toby, you're a graduate. You graduated with very good grades. You need a company that gives you the ability to fly. You need a good paying job, Toby. Please, <laughs> I beg you a job. Wow. I can't believe this. My only sister wants to send me off to die. Toby, can't you stop saying die? Stop it now. Toby, God will not allow you to die. Think about it, please. Think about it now. Hmm? You might be wrong. Good morning, Ma. Let me see your resume. You are told about the salary range? Yes, ma'am. She briefed you on everything else? Yes, ma'am. So what's on my schedule for today? Uh, you have a few meetings with the investor this and the sites, ma'am. Okay, get everything ready. Okay, ma'am. Um, ma, does that mean I have the job? 
I don't understand why you're laughing. This isn't funny. <laughs> It'll be my waist. No, no. At least you survived the day, right? It wasn't as bad as you envisioned it to be. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something dark about that woman. Like the way she stares at me. Ha! You know, I think you might be right. That's what everybody sees. And that's how everybody feels about her. But nobody can tell her anything like that now. It's a company at the end of the day. <sighs> oh, this guy won't go tough. Sorry, it will not be tough. It will not go tough to me. Look, as long as you stay on your own lane, you don't put your mouth into what you're not supposed to say, just stay on your own. You'll be fine. Trust me. Stay on your lane and everything will be okay. Okay? <laughs> Have you eaten? Should I get you food? Do you make you feel better? Who will bring my food, Joe? Toby! Money fair, Toby. Smile now. Should I get your food? Um, personally, I thought she was going through some sort of trauma. <laughs> what trauma? See, I've been working in this company the longest. Right? So I believe I'm in the right place to tell you who she really is. Listen, that woman is bad news. Hmm. She, she killed her husband. Jesus. Mm, see, bro, I don't want to consume this conversation. You know the world's happening. And how did the husband die? Gasly motor accident. Mm. The poor man caught her cheating and tried to divorce her. And you know what she did instead? She tampered with his car. And he had an accident. I even heard she was the one who drove the car that time. You see that woman? She's evil. She's definitely evil. She's definitely evil. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. You all seem to know so much about me. Right? You're fired. Both of you. Ah, fired. Ma. Fired. Ma. Ma. Um, put out vacancy openings for all of their roles. Okay, Ma. Okay. Um, but Ma, please don't be offended. But it's going to take some time for me to get people to replace them. I honestly think it will affect us. Would you like to be the next? When I ask a question, I require an answer. No, Ma. Learn boundaries. If I need your opinion, I'll ask for it. Let this never, ever repeat itself again. Am I clear? Very clear, ma. Leave my office. Yeah. 
See, Joyce, you don't even understand. That woman annoys me like crazy. Like, who does she think she is? <clears throat> well, she's who she thinks she is, though. Whose side are you on? Bro, I'm on your side. Look, you're just getting angry unnecessarily. Calm down now. With time, you get to understand her. Look, there is nothing to understand about that woman, Joyce. She's just a horrible person. She fights two people at the same time. No, now. Only because they were gossiping about her. I beg. Ah, couldn't she have cautioned them? Caution them. Look, I don't want you to disturb yourself, Toby. Don't allow our actions affect you now. Calm down. Look, that woman is a sadist, though. Just calm down. You get to understand her. Just walk with her. That's all. <laughs> I'm a... See, Joyce, I don't think I can continue that walk. Bro, you continue working with her. You must work with her. In fact, this pregnancy is just making me feel some kind of way. I don't even understand myself. And you're here saying you don't want to work with her. My, I mean, you're having a headache. Uh, yes. You're having a headache? Yes. <laughs> Drive? Yes, ma'am. Drive. I have a migraine. Everyone sees the exterior. I won't you have a migraine. No, no you know, you can't even sit down in bed. I've now become a driver too. Huh? Hmm. Oh wow. Even if I said my truth, can you see me on the mask and why I try to cover my heart? Can you hear that I'm crying out for help? Can you see I didn't do the things they said I did? It's not who I am. Can you hear so you follow me to my house to pick up the child, okay? Okay, ma. Make sure you turn out these meals as soon as possible. They need to receive that invoice today. All right, ma. No problem. Okay. Are you okay, ma? Yeah, I'm fine. Ma, let me drive. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Please, ma. I insist. Let me drive. Please. Is everything okay, Ma? Yes. You know I could get you all arrested for breaking into my house, right? Huh? Have you not done enough, Mary? What crime did my son commit in marrying you? 
You killed our son and you seized all of his properties. Oh! Can't you see that we are suffering? We are really suffering. We barely eat. Please release our son's properties to us. Get out of my house right now. Out! Don't you dare speak to my wife like that! You evil witch! After all you have done! Eh? So you swear how much more talk? Have you no conscience? Have you no conscience? Wait, I don't really understand why you guys like throwing tantrums every now and then. <gasps> if you say I killed your son, provide evidence, <laughs> sue me to court. That's what sane and educated people do. Hi. <laughs> We can barely feed. Eh? We can barely feed. Yet you want us to see you to court? Hi, hey, Chai. Indeed. Hi. The poor man has no place in this society. And I am very glad that you know that. So now, would you leave my house right now? Out! Miss A. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Don't you dare touch me. Get the hell out of my house. <laughs> now. This woman is wicked, oh. Kai. My wife. Let us go. Huh? Let us go. It is obvious that she's, she's living a miserable life. She's living a miserable life. Eh? Look, let me tell you, Mary. No matter the amount of money that you have, you will never buy peace of mind. Hmm? Live with your conscience. Live with your conscience. My wife, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. In your life, in your life, never ever you get involved in any business that does not concern you. And that's why you slap me. And I will slap you a million times over, you fool. Look, the only reason I'm not retaliating is because I was raised properly. You want to hit me back? I guess the rumors are true then. You really are a wicked woman. I resign. Run your company yourself. Everyone sees the exterior, good look on my face. But no one's Can you stop staring at me? Okay. Now that you quit your job, what next? Hmm? Well, tell me. Yeah, I'll go back to my kiosk business now. Your kiosk business, Toby? You would have been patient. Are you being serious? Did you not hear me say she slapped me? Even though, even though, look, okay, a beggar has no choice. Even though, Joyce. Look, Joyce, regardless of my situation right now, I'm still a man. And I still have balls between my legs. There is no way in heaven or hell that I would ever let anyone disrespect me like that. To be, I worked with that woman for five months. Five good months. And I never had an issue with her. You know why? Because I learned how to steal my lane. Because I learned how to mind my business, Toby. Joyce. Joyce, she pushed an old man to the floor. Her late husband's father. Are you not listening to me? That's cold now, no. Toby, you don't get it. The doctor says that I'm going to undergo a C-section. Toby, we need money. I know I'm not your responsibility, oh, but... Joyce, Joyce, stop <laughs> saying this now. Stop. Look, you're my own nephew and my responsibility. Don't talk like this. Do you know how I feel? If I didn't get married earlier, I would be in this mess. Oh, listen, no, you're not in any mess. Look, your husband is in a better place. And I'll do everything I can to take care of you and my nephew. How? How, Toby? With that, your kiosk business. That business that you don't have anything tangible to sell there. To be a job. I beg you, go back. I beg you, go back to the company. Please, I beg you. For my sake. Okay. 
If not for my sake, why do you go be one born nephew? Mm. Please, I beg you, come back. This is fine. It's so fine. Please, Stop crying. come on. Stop crying. It's fine. <laughs> don't you go back? Stop crying. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Meeting. Oh, not again. <gasps> get up, let's go to the hospital. I'm fine. Stand up, don't get me angry. Let's go to the hospital. I'm fine. Stand up. Stand up, please. <sighs> When I'm dead, the rest. God forbid. You will never die. Instead, they will die for your sake. You have to stop this nonsense, Mary. You are aware that whenever they come into your house, they poison everything in that kitchen. You still haven't changed the lock yet. You know they have your spare key. Don't you know that that substance can actually hurt your already fragile body? Okay. I am, I'm just I'm exhausted. Okay. I'm just, I'm just tired. I just need to rest. You haven't fought this hard to just give up. And how much longer do I have to keep fighting? How much longer? Mary, do not let people's talk get into your head. People do not understand what they do not know. Leave them to keep talking. Face your life. Okay, I am only human. And no matter how strong I am on the outside, I am weak on the inside. I hurt on the inside. It's okay. It's okay, okay? The fourth is hard to just give up now. You've been strong. You've been strong all this while. Just continue being strong, okay? Hi, hello. Good morning. Hi. Hi, good morning. You're the new secretary, yes? Yes, I am. Oh, that's nice. Uh, is Miss Mary in the office? No, at the moment she's not around. I'm sorry, what's your name and um, do you have an appointment with her? Uh, my name is Toby. Toby Adeleke. And no, I don't have an appointment, but uh, I'd love to see her. It's uh, business related. Okay, um, like I said earlier, Miss Mary is not on seat. She's currently hospitalized. Hospitalized. Um, okay, thank you. Right. 
Oh, what am I even doing here? Eh? God, this is crazy. But it's not like she has a gate, man. So if I knew the name of the hospital now, I'll just go there. At least if she sees me now, maybe she will take me back. Who are you and why are you peeping into someone's compound? Hi, my name is Toby. I'm Miss Mary's PA. Okay, so why are you peeping into her compound? Um, well actually, she fired me. No, I resigned. Okay, so why are you here then? I'm sorry, but who are you? I am her best friend. Oh, nice to meet you. I wouldn't say so. Well, I realized that I might have overreacted. I was by her company earlier today, but her secretary told me that she's been hospitalized. And? Well, I'd like to pay her a visit. Look, if you resigned, I would advise you to move on with your life. Mary wouldn't like to see you. Well, why? Look, 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 can you just help me talk to her, please? I really need my job back. Oh, you resigned? Because she slapped me. Mary slapped you? Yes. What did you do? She pushed her late husband's father to the ground. And I helped the poor man back up, that's all. Please, can you, can you just help me talk to her, please? No. Please, just, I... Guy stopped by at your house today. A guy? Who? Like, who's that? He said his name is Toby. Yeah. Okay. Mary, he said you slapped him and he resigned. True. He said he's sorry. Good for him. Are you going to forgive him? Okay, please, let's not do this, okay? He resigned. I didn't fire him. So I don't want him thinking he just walk out and walk right back in. Well, he seems genuinely sorry. Okay, can I please have some water? Fine. Here you go. At least greet me first now. Oh, good evening. So what's up? Did she take you back? Have you started working? What's I, up? I didn't see her. Huh? She refused to see you, Toby. The secretary of the company says she's been hospitalized. Hospitalized? Why? Honestly, I don't know. I even went by her house and I met her friend. And? We're not the same feather now. She didn't answer me. What what are we going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Let me think, let me think, let me think. You have to continue going there. Yes, you have to keep on going there until she accepts you, please. Please, now. Sorry, I don't need your apology. Leave my back. No, but I always carry your handbag. But that was before you resigned. I know, I know. But I'll come back to my senses, please. Or would you prefer I call security to bundle you out of here? Huh. I'm not going anywhere till you take me back. Oh. You have to take me back. I'm sorry now, please. <laughs> Everyone says 
is the exterior Could look on my face But no one sees the hurting Come in What is it? Uh, my heard you're hospitalized. Are you better now? Yes. Why don't you think you should get more rest? Oh, sorry, but I was, I was just being concerned. How is Joyce? She's fine now. When is she due for delivery again? Next month. Okay. She's just being carried. Ha! And what is more confuses me off? I mean, she looks nice, but the way she stares at me. She, Jesus Christ. Good morning, Ma. Morning. You look really beautiful today, Ma. I'm leaving, Ma. Okay. Is there anything you'd like me to do for you before I leave? No, thank you. All right, Ma. Good night. We sent it to you. Is there a problem? Oh, you misplaced it. Okay, you know what? I can send my PO over to send me another copy tonight. Oh, well, that's not a problem at all. All right, sir. Okay. Take care. Goodbye. But no one says the hurting and the pain in my heart. Strong, cause no one would believe me even if I said my truth. Can you see me on the mask? Can you why I try to cover my heart? Can you hear that I'm crying out for help? Can you see I didn't do the things they said? Ooh. 
God knows where he put his phone. Sorry, I was in the bathroom when you were calling. That's okay. Um, do you still have the files belonging to Mr. Musa? No, ma, you asked me to delete it after I sent it because the files were confidential. Oh, okay. What the hell? Are you okay, ma? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. What are you doing here? Or well, have you come to finish off what you started? I've missed you. Leave my house or I'll call the police. The police? <laughs> you sure they'll be here on time? So you've come to kill me then? Oh no, Mary. I'm here because I miss you. Look. I'm sorry about how things ended up between us. I was deceived by my family. If I had died, would you be apologizing to me? If you had succeeded in killing me and taking over my properties, would you be apologizing to me right now? to yourself and leave my house right now. I said I'm sorry. I picked you up. I cleaned you up and I made you to be a man. And the only way you could pay me back was trying to kill me and trying to take over my properties. Hmm. No amount of apology is going to make up for what I did to you two years ago. 
bar. I came back because I didn't like the fact they said you killed me. I didn't like that. But I'm here now. You have to fix everything. Hmm? So you have been watching me? What else do you want from me, Jeremy? You have to ask. I want us back together. <gasps> I bet your family does not know that I know what they did. I'm sure you also know that they come out here to accuse me of killing their son. They come out here and poison my food and my food stuff and then they leave. Look, I never supported their coming here. I never did. But they wouldn't listen. Okay? They know that you're alive. They've not joined me back to health. So yes. <gasps> Mary. I'm sorry. Okay. But we all make mistakes, come on. We all do. And I will spend the rest of my life regretting my mistakes. Leave my house. Leave my house now, Jeremy. Leave. Hmm. Okay. You'll be good. Toby, why are you here? You're such a good pretender, you know. Pardon? I heard everything. I don't understand you. I didn't end the call, Mary. I heard everything your supposed dead husband said to you. Okay. There you are. Acting like nothing happened. I don't get it. Why do you put up a strong front? How is this any of your business? Why are you here in the first place? I came to check in on you. You know nobody has anything good to say about you, right? Why don't you just tell them what happened? Tell who? People have already judged me and nailed me to the cross without hearing my own side of the story. It's a man's world. That's not true, Mary. As you can see, I am good. So you can leave. 
I'm not leaving. Excuse you? Look, I can't leave you here alone. He could return. Who the hell do you think you are? A decent human being. I'm not going anywhere, Mary. Everyone sees the exterior, good luck on my face. But no one sees the hurting and the pain in my heart. I do what I do, put up a face up and strong. Cause no one would believe. Even if I said my truth, can you see beyond the mask and the word I try to cover my heart? Can you hear that I'm crying out for help? Yes. Don't worry, I will explain everything to you when I get back. Just make sure you lock up, okay? Alright then. Good night. Your girlfriend? Joyce. Okay, here you go. Sorry, it gets cold. Thank you. I meant to be saying that. Thank you for staying. It's fine. Are you okay? Not been okay for a very long time. Jeremy, Jeremy, please. Please, please, Jeremy. Jeremy, please don't do this to me, Jeremy, please. Jeremy, please don't do this to me. Jeremy, please, I thought you said that you loved me. What is this? What is going on? Well, I love money more. I love money. I love the good things of this life. Okay? You, you have enjoyed yourself. You were born into wealth. You know nothing about being poor. So yes, I want to enjoy myself. I cannot live the rest of my life living at your mercy. No! Jeremy, but I've given you all that you wanted. I'm giving you Well, everything. it's not enough! It is not enough. You see, my family, they opened my eyes to possibilities. And those possibilities can only happen if you are out of the way. What did I ever do to all of you? I took you all as my family, Jeremy. What is going on, Jeremy? Please, please. Newsflash, trust nobody. Nobody. Jeremy. Move. Jeremy, please, I'm begging you. Move. Jeremy, please. Don't make me shoot you here. Jeremy, please. Move. Please. I said move! Jeremy, please! <laughs> Jeremy, please. Keep moving. Don't, don't. <laughs> Jeremy. Move. Move! Jeremy, please! I'm joking. <laughs> I woke up in the ICU with this scar on my back. Yes, I am so sorry. went for therapy, nothing changed. 
just felt disappointed in everything and everyone. I was so hurt. Betrayed. Scorned. And this scar is a daily reminder not to trust anyone or believe what any human being says. Not everybody is the same though. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that I didn't judge you at first, too. To be honest, I did. And you can't blame me or anybody else for that matter. There were rumors everywhere about you. And you had this, this coldness to your personality. If you experience what I've been through, then you will understand why I am the way I am. I totally understand what you're saying. But still, all that is just a front. This, this person sitting in front of me right now, this is who you are. Vulnerable. Warm, soft. This is who you are, Mary. What your husband did was cold and plain evil. But you're still alive. And if you ask me, I'd say, that's life, Loki, giving you another chance to change the narrative. I am not going to change any narrative. Let people think what they want to think. Good morning, Miss Murray. What are you doing? I thought you left. Not yet. I thought I'd make you breakfast. Make me breakfast? Why? Because I wanted to make you breakfast. This is uncalled for. <laughs> Just say thank you. I didn't ask you to do this. Just stop whatever it is you're doing and leave right now.
Stop being so mean to me. I care about you. Enjoy your breakfast. You better close your mouth before Fly enters. You mean that Mary is a saint? Oh, saint, go. Saint Mary. Uh, uh, Toby woman beings are wicked. I'm telling you. They are very wicked. If you see that ex, he looks very, very innocent. Like he can't even hurt a fly. Uh, very gentle man. Are those ones the wicked person? That's <laughs> true. Uh, but Toby, I feel bad. I feel bad. See, I carried all those rumors too. Don't feel guilty, Joe. At least now you know not to spread false rumors around now. That's true. I uh -huh. need to keep my mouth in one place. But look, that man is dangerous. So you need to stay away from her, please. Just go to work and come back home to me, okay? Stay away from her. Joe, nothing is going to happen to me. I'll be fine. I know. I know. That's why I'm saying stay away from her. Don't go to her house again. Stay away. I'm talking to you, you're not answering me. Just I need to protect her now, eh? Uluwa to be loba, deleke. Stay away from her. Just I need to go and shower. So you, you, you're not a soldier, eh? Protect her as what? Are you, are you not a bouncer? Is that what they, they told you to go and do there? Just I'm going to shower, eh? I'm coming. Ha! God! What does he mean by he needs to protect her now? As what? So that man didn't die. Mm. Eh? Girl, things are happening now. Eh? Look, I have told you to change the locks of this house. Mm. Change it! Yes, I will. When? When I have time. You and I know that you will never have time until you create it. This is your safety we are talking about. In fact, you need to get a restraining order. Listen, babe, I'm not sure he's going to come again, okay? Mary, get a restraining order. Ah! Okay, I will, if he comes again. What is it? I'm not okay. I had a bad dream. A bad dream? What was the dream about? You were killed. God forbid. Ah. God forbid. I prayed about it and nothing is going to happen to you. I prayed about it. But you need to be careful, please. Stay away from that woman, I beg you. Hmm? Joyce, you need to relax, okay? You're just getting yourself worked up over nothing. Please, Nothing no. is going to happen to me, okay? Uh, don't stay away now. I'm begging you. At least stay away from me, please. Okay. I'm begging you, please. I've heard, I've heard you. But I need to go to work now, okay? All right. Uh. Please, promise me that you stay away from me. Nothing is going to happen, eh? I need to go to work. I'll see you when I get back. Take care of yourself. And make sure you lock up, okay? Uh, so how is my shadow looking like for today? Uh, very tight, Ma. You have me to join the clock. All right, then. Let's get to it. All right, Ma. Um, Toby? Ma? Thank you for breakfast. Oh. It was sumptuous. I'm glad you liked it, Ma. And um, I'm sorry about how I spoke to you. You didn't deserve that. That's fine, Ma. I didn't take it personally. Great, then. You have a beautiful smile. 
It's just my mark. <laughs> I'm coming. Scared, huh? I know. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oof. I don't bite. Oof. Keep going. Don't worry. I won't bite. Okay, everything looks perfect. Yes, but I will still go over the balance sheets, okay? All right then. Oh, definitely. I will revert. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Um, Toby, is there a problem? Uh, no, ma'am. I got you lunch. You got me lunch? Why? I never said I was hungry. Well, it's a busy day and I know you won't have time to step out to get lunch. So I thought I'd get you something to eat before your next meeting. Are you pitying me? Or is this some form of recompense? Listen, I can take care of myself. And I don't need your pity or anyone's pity for that matter. And I've been living my life and I will continue to live my life. So quit doing these things. Now leave my office. Good. What are you doing here, Jeremy? I noticed you changed the locks to your house. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I missed you. You're sick. You're very sick in the head. You're dead, so you remain dead. Don't push me, Jeremy. Don't make me get you arrested. You hear me? Really? 
Mary. You know you can't get me arrested. Jeremy, stay away from me. Stay away from me, Jeremy. I came back for us to rekindle the love we shared. Why are you pushing me away? Jeremy, stay away from me. Why I... You heard the woman. She said stay away from her. <laughs> to be a delicate. <laughs> Hello, Toby. It will be in your best interest if you stay away from things you know nothing about. You don't scare me. Now you take one more step closer to her again and I will crush every single bone in your body. <laughs> I stopped by your house earlier today. I see Joyce is pregnant. What? That's a good one. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, okay. Okay, I need to go check on my sister now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's go together. Let's go. Joyce! Joyce! Uh, listen, just, just calm down, okay? Look, she's not inside. Just, just calm down. Look, she's okay. not inside. Just calm down, please. I swear I'll kill that bastard if he touches my sister. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for getting you guys involved in this mess. I am so so no, sorry. No, please, you didn't get us involved. That guy is just a psycho. He's been watching us all. He's been watching everyone. He said that you're his property, and then anybody that tries to come in between that will go down for it. Oh my God, things are just getting messier than I thought. Oh my goodness. I don't want to lose my brother. Just I don't. Say, you're not going to lose me. Okay, stop saying that. You know what? Listen, guys, I'm going to talk to my travel agent, okay? They'll get, get your travel documents ready so you guys can leave in a few days, no. okay? No, I'm not running away from that scumbag. What? No, I'm not. Please, please. Please, you would have a big, Joyce, red job. Joyce, 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 nothing is going to happen. <laughs> no, me. Joyce. I'm not leaving. Please, get my sister to safety. We just need to get enough evidence to put him behind bars for life. That's all. Why? Why? Why are you helping me? Because you're a good person. God, 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 God. God. It's okay. We'll be fine, okay? It's okay. You can start the ride. Okay. Um, babe, I'll call you back, okay? 
Oga, I told you I'm going to VI. Why are you taking this route? Oga, I am talking to you. You know what? Stop this car. Stop this car. Jesus, Jeremy! Ah! Mary, this is getting out of hand. Only really God knows what would have happened to me today if I didn't have my pepper spray with me. Look, I already applied for the restraining order. Did you apply for a restraining order for me? What about Toby? Restraining order would not do anything. It won't stop him. And then the worst part of it all is, I don't know what he wants from me. I don't understand why he is doing all of this. Isn't it obvious? This guy, he wants to finish what he started. His eyes are still on your wealth. He won't stop until he gets it. So what do I do? Look, I don't know. I'm totally confused. Confused. I told her to leave. She took the next available flight to Ghana. Wow. Yeah. I hope your sister arrives safely too. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Look, there is nothing to thank me for, okay? Looks like it's just you and I remaining. What? Did you cook? Cook? Business listening to us. What? Oh my god. Kill me. Hey Mary, Mary, just calm down. Calm down? Can't you see that there's no stopping him? What did the police say? They can't make any arrests unless evidence is provided. Okay. Okay, so we just need to find a way to set him up to talk. That way we can find enough evidence to nail him, right? How do we achieve that? Strong. Cause no one would believe me Even if I said my 
Toby. Toby. What's wrong? Are you okay? I think there's someone in my room. There's someone in your room? Yeah, like, everywhere just feels so weird. Things are just moving okay. around. Mary, Mary, just calm down. You're just scared, okay? What if he comes tonight with a gun or something? He's not coming tonight. Just calm down. Look, I cannot sleep in my room, okay? We need to stay together. We need to stick together. Okay. All right, come here. <clears throat> come here. <sighs> Toby, wake up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. I made breakfast. Oh, I didn't know you cook. Of course I cook, and I'm a very good cook too. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Nothing, it's just I've never seen this part of you before. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> You don't have to leave. I won't stay long. I'm just going to pick a few things from the house. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Just make sure you lock the doors and I'll stay inside. There's no way you can get into the house. Alright. All right. Please, don't be long, okay? I won't. Hello, Toby. Mm -hmm. Let me see your hands. Slowly. Slowly. 
slowly turn. Good. Good. Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain from doing all of this? Why am I doing this? I have an ambition. A huge one. I have this lifestyle that I want to live. And the only person that can give me that lifestyle is Mary and her wealth. Do you understand? Is that why you want to kill her? And everybody around her? Why are you so entitled to someone else's money? I mean, she helped you. Gave you everything, put you in her will. You could have just been contented. Who's got the gun? Me. And you think you're in any position to ask me stupid questions? It was easy before. It was just Mary. She was the only plan. And not until you all came in to start meddling where you shouldn't. And now you're asking me a stupid question. What is your problem? Hmm? Why are you even protecting her? Why? Because she's a good woman. And she doesn't deserve everything she's been through. <laughs> hmm. I see. life. You will learn to mind your business. Blood! Mary! Ma Mary! I have evidence now. I have strong evidence against him. You need to call the police now. Wait, what's going on? Don't ask questions. Let's just go to the police station now. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Toby, Toby, hold on, hold on, hold on. This evidence you speak of, like what evidence do you really have? Jeremy attacked me at my place, so I recorded the conversation. We now have evidence. I've already called the police. I just need to get you to safety now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Safety. All right. Oh my God. Jeremy. Jeremy. Safety. Jeremy. Jeremy, stop it. You need to stop this. Okay? You need to stop it. It's over. Stop it. Over for who? For you? Jeremy. For you? Jeremy. Calm down. Jeremy. Stop it. All I wanted was you. You. Jeremy. Nobody stays away from me. Jim, what is this? Stop! Jeremy, if I can't have you, Jeremy, no one will. Jeremy! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! 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 For you, Mary. Ah! Oh my God. Oh, Toby. 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 Please, 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 please help me. Please help me. We need to take you to the hospital, please. Please. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Doctor. How is he? Is he going to be okay? Yes. It's going to be fine. He were able to remove the bullet and hole. He's a lucky guy. The brother did not touch any of his major organ. There's no major issue, it's going to be fine. Okay, thank you so much, doctor. Thank you, thank you. You don't need to cry. I, I thought I had lost him or something. I thought he was going to die. It's going to be fine. I'm 
sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Would you prefer to be here or would you want to go upstairs? Am I living with you now? <laughs> Apparently you are. Um, thank you for everything. Stop thanking me. It's fine. No, really. You are such a kind person. And whoever ends up with you is going to be such a lucky woman. <laughs> Okay, um, let me quickly go upstairs. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. Take your medication. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. decide to help me? Was it because you pitied me? No. Why then? Honestly, I'm not even sure I know why. I guess after the phone call, a part of me just came to really care about you. You've been through so much pain. And as an orphan myself, I understand what it feels like not to have anybody fight for you. So at first, I felt the need to be there for you. And then I got closer. When I realized you had a beautiful personality. So maybe one day, when you're fully healed, I'll be able to tell you how I really feel about you. I never thought I was ever going to love again. I thought that my life was over. 
Not until you came into it and brightened it up. I will never treat you for anything in this world, Toby. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you too, Mary. I love you so much. And I'll do anything for you. As I will do anything for you too.